Hello everybody, uh, today I'm gonna talk about how to manage your Google business profile in 2022 and 23 moving forward with these new Google business updates. Now, if you're a small business owner or digital marketer or just new to Google, there's a lot of changes and updates for you ever since their algorithm update in 2021 and through 2022. It used to be called Google My Business. Now it is called Google Business Profiles. So stay tuned, let's jump into these updates. And if you haven't yet, my name is Mac Frederick. I'm the founder and owner of Momentum Digital here in Philadelphia. Uh, we're a full service marketing agency. I'm also a owner of multiple businesses like phone repair shops, which I'll use for this example. If you haven't yet, make sure to hit that like comment and subscribe button, turn on that bell for post notifications so you are the first to be notified whenever I go live or have updates or post new videos. So without further ado, uh, sorry I've got so many tabs open, but let's jump into how to manage your Google business profile moving forward. So I'll shrink myself here. Hopefully uh, I don't lag too much. But what you're gonna do, first things first, so instead of this app, so we used to be able to go to business.google.com and this is where you would log in and manage your profiles. So let's pull this up here. We're gonna use the location that I'm in right here. This is sort of your locations dashboard. You can have multiple locations under one account. This is the location that I'm in and we're gonna use for this example. You could also previously use this on your phone with the My Business app. So if you go to your locations here, you can no longer use this uh, to manage individual locations. You have to do that from the search or Google Maps level. So for example, uh, if I click on this location here, which is the one I'm in, I'm inside this location, you'll see that it's gonna take me to the Google search for it. So this is actually where I'd manage the listing. So these are new releases and new features. It's annoying and most people don't like it. Small business owners such as myself and marketers, uh, we're not big fans of it. So a lot of outlets have talked about it, you know, Forbes, what's changing, what's not. Most of it's just going to this new platform where you need to manage it from search or maps. Uh, you can also see in the search engine journal here, you know, it's a new guide to these local SEO updates, how to manage your Google business profile. Um, you know, you manage it from search here, which it sucks. You've got to do it from your phone, tablet, or computer. You can't use the app. You know, the app is now useless. And on desktop, what you'll notice is it's going to drive you to this location. So to manage your location, make sure you have manager access. To give somebody else manager access, you now need to do this here. So you would go to business profile settings. Within that, this is your settings. You got to click the three buttons there. So it'll give you a message, and I showed you in the screen, uh, the mobile version as well. Sorry, my computer's so slow right now. So you can go to managers right here. This is where you can add and remove managers. Advanced settings, remove business profile, linked accounts. All right, so here we are in managers. This is where you can add a manager, just type in their email, give them owner or manager level. Uh, let's jump back. And so first thing you'll want to do is type in your business name and location. That'll pop up the profile that you want to manage. From a high level, you'll see the knowledge panel here on the right side. This is what customers are going to see, you know, all this information. So it'll show name, address, phone number, reviews, products, or, uh, more reviews, description, your posts. Make sure you're posting and adding photos and all this stuff. But let's look at managing it. So at a high level, this is sort of your dashboard now. So um, it looks nothing like the old dashboard because you're managing it directly from search. So you can see how many views you're getting. You can, see uh, you can edit your profile. Uh, and then it just gives you kind of the list version. You know, you see your name, your business categories, choose one main business category, have a description with keywords, your opening date, you know, phone number, link to your website location, address, hours, special hours, you can change this here, uh, custom hours, accessibility and other information about the business, you can go to these tabs as well. Don't make any major changes within your business name, address or phone number, you could get suspended. 
Uh, next, you can see your reviews. This is where you can respond to reviews. Make sure you're responding to them using keywords like, thanks for choosing IRP uh, for your phone repair, screen repair. Make sure you're adding keywords to reviews, responding to all reviews, you know, even if they're negative, you know, say something kind to them. Uh, messages, you can turn on messaging. Uh, these will get sent directly to your email inbox used for the profile. Uh, you'll get messages in Google Maps as well, actually. So within here, you can see and respond to messages. If my computer wants to load because I've got a million tabs open. Let's pause it for a second. All right, we've got the messages pulled up. This is where you can use prompted text. You can also respond on your phone. Make sure you're responding to them because if you stop responding, you'll get a low response score and you'll get less messages. You can also see add a photo. Make sure you're adding this stuff weekly. I mean, you can do it directly from your phone. You can upload a photo uh, or a logo or a cover photo. Make sure you're doing that on a consistent basis. Let's see if I can show you how. So you can just go in here, choose a photo to upload. Hopefully your computer's faster than mine. Let's see if I can post this as an example. So keep uploading photos and really short videos, typically less than 15 seconds, just like you would Instagram stories or Facebook stories. You can see your photos right here then. Um, this is what customers will be able to see as well. So you can see your latest photos, pending photos, videos, interior, exterior, and do make sure you get a video uh, you can hire us with Momentum 360. It's called a virtual tour, which will be inside your business. It helps you rank higher, get more views, more trust from potential customers. It's very important. So you can kind of zoom in here and see what that looks like. Uh, you can also add these virtual tours. You know, you can use Matterport or various cameras to get it done with a trusted photographer or a Google local trusted partner and a Google Premier partner. So this is something that we can offer. Let me see if it loads here for us. All right, cool. So this is what that looks like. You can kind of swivel around, get a 360 experience and kind of walk around inside of here. It's really nice. This is the inside of the shop that I'm in right now, as you can see. Uh, and rem uh, remember to get back phone repair Philly. You just got to search your business name and location. Brings us back to this management screen. Uh, once we're back here, I'll show you a few more things. Now, if you want to really make sure you're ranking and optimizing your listing to rank higher on Google search and maps, make sure you're adding photos, adding your services and products, responding to reviews, uh, adding pictures, uh, responding to message and quote requests, and you can even advertise if you're a specific business. And you can also add an update. So let's take a look at performance first. So this shows you your performance dashboard. This is your new dashboard. Um, it'll give you an overview of your traffic from Google My Business. Uh, our industry has been in a little bit of decline because of the recession. Uh, your calls, how many messages you're getting, your booking requests. Uh, only certain businesses can use a booking feature. Unfortunately, we can't. Direction requests, website clicks, and so on and so forth. You can change the date range. We do recommend other tools. You can use something like SEMrush or Mobi or... Um, Bright Local, there's other platforms you can use to post. You can also add and edit products. So if you go to products and you have a product business, uh, you can go here and add a product. You can change your pricing. Uh, so if you go to add a product, all you're gonna wanna do is drag and drop a photo of the product, have a description name like iPhone 14. You can create different categories like iPhones for sale, price range you know, 800 or 700 to 900, iPhone 14 for sale, 128 gigabyte or 6 gigabyte, add some text. And if you have a link to the product on your website, you can have a buy now button. Try to publish that. See, it wants a photo and the link. So make sure you're adding that information. You can then see your products here. Um, a little settings tab for you. And then the products will be listed right here. This is what customers will see and they can click out to those. 
You can also advertise, so this would be the Google Ads. Uh, these are considered the smart local ads, which make it quick and easy for you to choose keyword categories and then write an ad and put a budget behind it. Uh, we cover that in some other videos. You can also edit your services, so th do the same thing like you would with products, but make sure you're writing descriptions for your services because these are other keywords you'll be able to rank for. So if people are searching for phone battery replacements Philadelphia, we would pop right up. Um, so let's say iPhone 7, iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 8, and iPhone 8 Plus battery repair and replacement services in Philly starting from $50. It takes 15 minutes. So you can add details there. So this will help you rank for more keywords by writing descriptions with those services. If you're a hair salon or some sort of booking company or a company that allows bookings like nails or something like that, uh, we tried using, using a scheduling link. So let me see if I can use something different. Uh, sometimes they'll, use, they'll let you use Calendly. So let's try Try one of our booking links. Dun, dun, dun. So sometimes you can use Calendly for booking. So you'll add a link here. Uh, there's a lot of other booking platforms. Booking integrations for Google Business. So just do a little search on that. Schedule online. This is our booking link. So we'll see if we can post that there. Save that. Yep, there we go. Uh, quote requests. Sometimes you can get quote requests if you're a specific type of business. So we'll try turning this on. So make sure to turn this on. It'll also help you rank because Google wants to make it easy for customers to book or quote get quote requests. Uh, you'll get the request in your email. You might have to just verify that. Calls. So you can actually turn on call tracking to see what calls are coming in. Uh, go through your call history, see call performance. What else do we have here? And remember, you can do all this from your smartphone as well. Uh, the dashboard here is probably the most important things to consider is edit your ad text. If you have an ad that's disapproved, yada, yada, turn on, turn more views into customers. They want you to run ads. It's really pushing you to run ads so Google get, makes more money. Um, last thing that I want to cover is uh, two more things. Ask for reviews. You'll get a special review link you can share with customers, potential customers, friends, and family. Just copy that and you can post that across the internet. Text it to people. Set it up in automated reminders with email and text. Uh, and then last thing here is you want to use Google Posts. Uh, excuse me one second while we load. All right, we're good now. Q&A. Like you know, local, uh, you know, people that contribute to maps and search results, they can add it there. Last important thing is add update. These are posts, so you can add updates about like new products, new features, new things about your business. You'll want to add a photo and a description and a button, preferably with a link. Um, so you could say book online. A little scheduling link schedule your iPhone screen repair with IRP. So, and then screen repair. You can just pull an image from the internet if you'd like. So, something quick and easy. Boom. Maybe not use all states image. <laughs> literally download and here's my cat I don't know if you can see Martin say hi so we'll download this image let's go over here bud resave that name back over here add a photo drop that bad boy in you could use JPEG or PNG make sure we're posting at least once a week this is gonna help more people schedule um, you know services or buy products with you you can see what those updates look like here 
you know, we're always posting new products, new specials, new features. It helps you rank higher and get a lot of traffic and customers. Follow these buttons. Uh, make sure you're checking in on your GMB or Google Business Profile once per week. Uh, we have lots of other blogs and videos that talk about local SEO. If you go to our website or search Momentum Digital. Um, I'll show you our blog really quickly. Um, now's a good time. If you have a question, drop it in the comments below. If you want us to audit your Google My Business or your local SEO or website SEO, uh, we can give you a free marketing audit, free SEO audit. Uh, you can also go to our blog here. And uh, really quickly, if you want that free audit too, just make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell for post notifications. Uh, you'll also notice a lot of free content we have here, best social platforms, things to consider before choosing a web designer, best methods to increase SEO, uh, eight benefits of Google Ads, tons and tons of blogs here. We've got hundreds of blogs. Um, so that is the overall recap on how to use Google Business Profiles. There's also some plugins I recommend. So if we'll jump over here, uh, Meta SEO Inspector is good for your website SEO. Use Google Tag Assistant to see if you have the proper tags in your website. Use the Uber Suggest tool to analyze your website uh, organic traffic and SEO. Um, and there's lots of other good ones like Keyword Extractors, uh, Tag Assistant, yeah, we covered a lot of these. Um, and make sure you subscribe to our blog. You can do that on our website at Momentum Digital. Thanks so much for watching. I know this is a long video, but you know this is a big update. So make sure you're using your phone or computer to update your business and manage your Google Business Profile. And if you need help, uh, you know I run uh, Momentum Digital. Uh, we're a decent-sized marketing agency partner with Google. And if you ever get suspended on Google My Business, we have some blogs and videos about that too. So thanks again for watching. Hit that like button if you found this useful and valuable, and hit that subscribe button so we can stay connected. Um, and good luck. Good luck, have success, grow your business, increase your SEO, and rank higher on Google Maps, such as this iPhone repair in Philly. You'll see that we pop up first and second, probably three of the top 10 listings. Yep, there we go. So obviously it works. You just got to put in the time, put in the work, or hire an agency or marketer to do it for you. Thanks again. Uh, we'll put all this in the blog in the notes and links. And uh, we'll see you next time.